Ricochet is one of those games that's sort of just in the back of your head, nagging at you, berating you, until you finally decide one day that you're suicidal enough to play it. But when you open it up, you realize it's honestly not as bad as everyone makes it out to be. However, there is so little information about this game that it's almost not worth making a video about it all. But I have managed to scrape together a nice little pile of toenail clippings worth of facts here. It wasn't easy though. There's a lot of conflicting information about this game that makes it difficult to figure out which sources are accurate. For some things, I legitimately couldn't find a concrete answer, like one of the simplest things, the damn release date. Valve already likes to display the wrong date for their older titles on Steam, but it does not help that Ricochet wasn't originally a retail release, at least as far as I can tell. It would have been very bare bones for a retail release with how little content it has anyway. It doesn't even have a single track of music. It was originally included with the Half-Life 1.1.1.0 update on June 12th, 2002, but I'm still not sure if it was available some other way before that. Allegedly, it was an experiment by Valve employees to create a multiplayer mod with the Gold Source engine. It was then added to Steam with the first batch of games available on the platform, among Half-Life, Counter-Strike, and others. Ricochet is a semi-FPS arena multiplayer game made by Valve Software that runs on the Gold Source engine, also known as the Half-Life engine. Supposedly, the game was created mainly by Robin Walker in around three months to show how quickly one could make a game with the engine's modding tools. The objective of the game is to kill other players with your discs. Ricochet also has a somewhat distinct, neon futuristic art style, much like the movie Tron. Ricochet is essentially infamous for being Valve's worst game, their black sheep, their cars too, and its innate dislike among fans. Even Valve themselves seem resentful of it. I mean, there is a lot to dislike about it. But I think the immense hate it garners is a little undeserved. In this game you play as strange spacemen in different bright colored outfits depending on the order in which you join the server. I think the designs of the player models are honestly one of the strangest things about this game, but it's certainly not the most outright odd thing about it. <laughs> Alright, this is the real meat of Ricochet. It's really all Ricochet is like a one-course steak dinner. Before I go on, I would like to mention that I'm borrowing a lot of information from the Ricochet Master's Guide by user Moses, which I will link in the description. I won't just be copy and pasting what he's written, though. There's only three maps in the game, those being RC Arena, RC Deathmatch, and RC Deathmatch 2. The first being a 1v1 type game mode, and the last two being very self-explanatory. Out of these, RC Deathmatch is probably the most well-known Ricochet map, although that's not saying much. When you finally get into one of these maps, you only have a few buttons. WASD to move, and the mouse to aim and shoot. Shoot discs, that is. You have three discs to start, which recharge as they are used up. Left click shoots one disc at a time and can push anyone it hits off of their platforms. Right click shoots all three discs as a super mega disc that decapitates anyone it hits. There's also Tab to look at the very simplistic scoreboard. Movement involves dancing around on small circular platforms to avoid getting hit, and stepping on yellow triangles to jump to neighboring platforms. You can also stop and slightly control yourself mid-air, which you can use to outsmart your opponents. Probably not, though. Movement is essentially the same as other Gold Source Engine games. However, there's no jumping. I mean, you step on the yellow triangles to catapult you who knows where, but there is no button you can press to jump up and down. There's also no crouching. I suppose it's not really necessary though, as discs are always thrown at the same level, and these mechanics wouldn't really do anything to benefit the gameplay overall. Now the question I imagine you're asking is, well, why is it called Ricochet? And not many people actually know the answer. So, there are these yellow bars dotted throughout each map that reflect, or ricochet, the discs thrown at them. Depending on the amount of times your disc ricochets before killing someone, you can get up to 3 extra points awarded per kill. Now this all seems quite simple, but there's one major component that I haven't touched on yet. Power-ups. There's four power-ups. The triple shot, fast shot, freeze shot, and power shot. The triple shot shoots four... The triple shot shoots three shots from one disc. The fast shot makes your discs faster, obviously, but it cannot ricochet. The free shot temporarily slows down whoever it hits, and the power shot turns all of your individual discs into decapitation discs. 
You can combine all of these power-ups in any way you like to get combined effects. The fast shot is especially useful in combinations, as it speeds up your shots. There are some more complex aspects of the game, like apparently using the Pythagorean theorem to calculate ricochets, but that's not very interesting to the average viewer or player. The most fun way to play the game, in my opinion, is just with as many people as possible. Complete chaos. It's not very fun with just a couple other people, however the same could be said about most multiplayer deathmatch type games. Ricochet is a surprisingly complex game, just not one that many people are interested in learning about. I think it's actually a pretty tightly designed game, even if it's lacking in content. One of the things that's really drawn me to Ricochet is the strange atmosphere. Playing a multiplayer game from one of the most revered developers of all time to find the entire game essentially a ghost town just gives off a really strange vibe. Occasionally you'll get someone named Player joining your server because they forgot to change their username in the menu and it's just creepy as hell. I mean, you're playing as these men in the middle of deep space just shooting discs at each other and jumping around glowing floating platforms for all eternity, or until the server restarts. I hope I've given you a slightly different view of Ricochet, or you at least learned something. If you would like to add anything, please do so in the comment section. Thank you.